What's going on guys? This is Nick with Teach All Tech Tuesdays and I wanted to switch up the format for the videos this week. So I'm walking you guys through a client's journey from when we met over a year ago to where we are now. So a little bit of a background. This person in particular is deaf in one ear and hard of hearing in the other. We met at a free iPhone iPad workshop that I was hosting and coming. And when they came, they quickly realized because we're gonna be in a large room with a lot of people asking questions, they're not gonna be able to pick up on everything that we're talking about. So they actually didn't even stay. They just took one of my cards and sent me an email. Now, at the time, this person had never used a smartphone. They'd never used a tablet. The really only technology they had was a Windows computer that was pretty old that they were only using for business. They also had what's called a caption telephone that transcribed what people were saying with a one or two second delay. And this was the only way they could talk to people that weren't physically there with them in person. Now, where are we now? They have two iPhones, two Android tablets, a brand new Windows computer that blows anything else out of the water. They're using what's called Ava, a live captioning app that is uh, no delay. It just continually transcribes what people are saying. They're using Chrome. They know how to Google things if they have a question. They know how to search something on YouTube if they want to see a tutorial. They've even got the bookmarks bar on their computer totally filled up with different sites they like to use. Now I know you're wondering, how did this person get to this point from where they were a year ago? I, I think it really boils down to just two things, perspective and perseverance. Now let's talk about perseverance. So we met every single week, sometimes every other week if they were busy, going over new things that they could learn, ways they could use their computer, and eventually ways they could use a smartphone and use a tablet when they didn't even have one. Now, that was a lot of it. Just being able to meet that often, putting in that much time, putting in that much money, wanting to learn something new. And the big reason that they wanted to do this was because of their perspective and their outlook on life. A quote that they gave me that I'll never forget is that I actually view being hard of hearing as an advantage because I don't have to hear all the bullshit. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny at the time, but it's also serious when you think about it because they took something that most view as a disability and flipped it around so that it empowers them. I know this isn't easy to do, especially if someone who's watching this is hard of hearing and they're thinking, well, I don't view it as a positive. It's something that holds me back. This person, they just looked at the positive side of it and they made it so this is an advantage they have that's unique to them. And something else going off that as well is now we're using this app called Ava for live captioning whenever we sit down. So when I'm talking to him, he's actually looking at his phone that's transcribing everything I'm saying in real time. This is a pretty cool app because it enables him to do a lot more than before and he can join in on much more conversations a lot easier. For example, this most recent holiday, he was telling me about how he could play board games with his family and he could be a part of the conversation just like if he was regular hearing. And this is something he never would have been able to do if he didn't put in the time to learn how to use a smartphone and realize that there are apps out there that can really help him. Another thing that's pretty cool as well is now he's on Skype. He's video chatting with people he went to college with, um, some coworkers, giving them advice. And it's pretty cool because all he does is he sets Ava on his computer, it's transcribing what they're saying in real time, and he no longer has to wait on that delay from the caption telephone. So this is, a, this is a pretty cool journey, and I want to share this because I'm sure there are people who watch these videos and think, well, I could never learn something new. I can never progress from where I'm at now. I'm just stuck. I've always been this way. I'm never going to go anywhere. I want to say that's not true. You can put in the time. You can put in the effort, and you will be able to learn whatever you want as long as you have the right guide and as long as you have the right desires. So again, thank you guys for watching the video this week. I also want to give a shout out. We're about a month away from our next iPhone, iPad workshop and coming. It's free for ages 50 plus. So I'll put the information for that in the description for the video. Shoot me a thumbs up or subscribe if you like what we're doing here. And I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks.